everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video I'm going to go through the installation process of our DaVinci MIDI controller for Stream Deck devices package for the Windows system. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it. They use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you. Make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're going to download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the download Loop MIDI and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup and we want to make sure that the auto start Loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important, you got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer and that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms, we'll install. Once that's done we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here. We're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. DAW to Mackie. Hit the plus sign. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck. And we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5, so they have the new store here. We're going to click on Plugins. In the search box here, we're going to type MIDI. And it'll be this plugin here that we want to install MIDI by Trevor Ligas Bell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. Now we're going to launch DaVinci. Once we've launched and you've opened up a project, we'll go over to DaVinci Preferences. And we'll go over to uh, the control panel section here. In the audio console, we're going to click the box for use MIDI audio console. The MIDI protocol will be MCU compatible. The MIDI input is Mackie to DAW. And the MIDI output is DAW to Mackie. Now one word of note, I've uh, noticed that uh, we can set this up and I, I click save and work and everything works fine. Close down DaVinci and then a day later or so I'll open up DaVinci expecting everything to work and things aren't working and so I go back into DaVinci Resolve pr Preferences and I would find that these have changed to something else just on their own. So if you come back to DaVinci it was working uh, but now it isn't. Go back into your preferences make sure this hasn't changed on its own. It always goes back to Mackie to DAW and DAW to Mackie and click Save. Now Let's go back to the desktop and to our DaVinci MIDI controller folder that you had downloaded from Sideshow FX. You'll notice there's a folder here called MIDI Graphics. Now these hold the graphics for the Stream Deck profile. Inside of this folder are Mac and Win folders. Obviously we go to the Windows folder. And there's a Trevliga Spell folder here. This is the folder that holds all of the graphics. This has to go to a very specific place, namely your Documents folder. Now if you've already installed one of our other applications and you've already gone through this process, you don't need to do this again because the Trevliga Spell folder is the same in all the applications. So if you've already done this once, don't need to do it again. But if, if this is your first time, you open up your Documents folder and it's going to go into your PC Documents folder. Click, drag, drop it in. I've already got it there so I don't need to do that at the moment. Now we can go back to 
our DaVinci MIDI controller folder, we're going to now import our Stream Deck profiles. So we'll open up Stream Deck software, click on the gear icon, flyout menu at the bottom, import, and navigate to your DaVinci MIDI controller folder. Go to Stream Deck Profiles, go into Windows, and you'll see there's two profiles here. One is for the regular 15 key device, and one is for the XL device. So whichever device you are working with, that's the profile you'll enter. Double click that to install, and once you're loaded up, this is your DaVinci MIDI controller profile. Now you will have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder, there's an extra folder called To Copy. And what this is, two more profiles are in here, one for the regular 15 key and one for the XL device. Now what they are is they take the exact same profile here, but just pack it into one folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is here. And that very same profile is just sitting into one folder. So if I double click this, or you click on it on your Stream Deck device, it opens up the exact same profile, but it's all into one folder. The reason for this is in the software here, I can right click on this, say copy, and I can paste this into any other profile that I choose. So let's say for example, I have my MIDI controller profile here, and I also happen to have the DaVinci Pro Profiles package from Sideshow FX, and here it is here. I can find a blank key let's say this one here, I can then paste that MIDI controller profile into my DaVinci Profiles package. So now I don't have to swap back and forth between profiles. I now have both in one place. Clicking on this opens up the full MIDI controller profile. So that's it, you're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we put together that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.